Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a bell curve. And I'm going to use the norm.dist function, which you can see up there. Now to create a bell curve, we need a few um, formulas. First off, what we need is the standard deviation of our required list, which is this. So these are scores, students and scores, and then the mean average. So if I just go through that, that's just, this is just the stdev.p population, whole population. So standard deviation population, and I'll just do that function. It's equals std.p, open the bracket, and then select the range that you want to look at, which is that one. You just click the tick for that, and you get this score there. And then the mean is just the average function, so that's going to be equals average open the bracket on the average, spell it right, open the bracket, highlight the, the list, tick that one, so that gives us this, these two scores and they're just rounded down, so that's, how you, that's the information you need to start off with. Now the distribution, this, the, this function is going to give me the distribution first of all for a score of 39 and then I've got a list of scores that I want to show on the bell curve all the way down to 81 and then that's giving you returning this, the um, distribution for that particular figure and it tells you there basically what we're doing here the function has a very wide range in applications in statistics so let's do the function so I'll do it over here actually so it's going to be equals norm dot dist open the bracket so the first thing I need is the score that I want to start my bell chart with or my bell curve with comma then I need it says there the mean which is this cell and because I'm going to pull that down I need to dollar sign that so I'm doing f4 therefore function key comma then I need the standard deviation so I'm clicking on that one and that needs to be dollar signed as well and then I can do another comma and then I want a zero to finish this off close that one off zero is the same as false tick and I get the same score as that now, if I pull that down, I'm just going to get the same numbers that I've got here. These are just reduced slightly. But you can see that they are the same numbers that I've got here. So if I just delete those off for a minute. So that's how I get that information. Now, there's the scores. So this is what I need to do now. I need to highlight, to get the bell curve, I need to highlight all of this data. And then I need to create my little chart on that, based on that data. So it's going to be insert chart. And the type of chart I need is the scatter chart. And as you can see underneath, as soon as I do that, it's produced the, the bell curve. I'll just finish that off. You can go through the wizard and add things to it. But basically, that's all I want for this little example. So you've got the scores there for this particular set of data so that's all I want to talk about in this little video how you can create a bell curve using the norm.dist function with the standard deviation population function and the mean average function so hopefully this little video has been of use to you thank you for your time I'll catch you in the next one